Oh boy. Oh, uh, there's so many things. Are you sure you want to do this? To make sure you're doing something you're passionate about. So I would tell my younger self to be confident in the training that you've received and in your education. You know, I think I would say to my young self, enjoy what you do. Um, enjoy the people you work with every day, whether it's staff members, whether it's students. I would tell myself that they don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. But I guess the first thing that I would say is that you gotta pace yourself. You know, after 33 years I can tell you that um, I wish I'd taken more time for myself, for not burning out, not uh, burning the candle at both ends, um, and you know, just taking a little more time for me. And that's the one thing that when you're passionate about teaching that you forget to do. Somebody told me when I was young how I should do things. That was Frank Zerner. He was immensely influential science teacher, not just at Memorial, not just through Madison, statewide. I student taught with him in a semester uh, in 1982, and uh, at the end of it, uh, he said, um, I have a criticism. I said, well, okay, what is it? And he said, um, you sound a little too sure of yourself. I said, okay, he said, lose that. Let's see, I, my wife's not going to see this, I hope. Anyway, uh, I guess what I would say to myself is, um, you know, spend more time hanging around with the rich folks and try to, you know, marry into money so you don't have to work. It's the students. It's the seeing the, the light bulb turn on. Um, it's that one moment. Um, I think teaching is one of those things that you don't see the results right away. You know, it's an accumulative type of thing that you see um, when kids come back or, or they mention something, you go like, yeah, yeah, I, I made a difference. Just remembering that we only have a small amount of time to do things. So if your attitude's not good, everything you're doing won't be good. So stay positive and just live your life to the fullest. To be at your best, uh, you don't need to stay positive, I don't think, or dwell in the negative either, you know. Um, uh, try to stay in touch with what's real. Um, the, my students are real. My colleagues. Uh, the administration, not so much. Uh, interacting with the kids and um, uh, seeing the new books come in. No question what helped me stay positive at my best was the years that I was a coach. Um, to be able to be around athletes, swimmers in general were the majority of what I coached. Um, to be able to every day go after school and be with some young athletes that really truly enjoyed what they did. We kind of spoke the same language. Uh, it was so easy to stay positive during that time. Enjoy life, uh, um, be honest with people, uh, and do the things you like. I came to Memorial when I was 15 years old and I moved here from uh, Africa. And so I had the experience that many of our students have of coming into the building. I, although I wasn't an immigrant, I was an American. Um, but anyway, that, that memory of that experience has always helped me know what questions the students have and it, I empathize with what they're going through coming into this building and it's been very satisfying. Just seeing kids be successful um, at the end of every year um, either when I was a teacher just those kids that passed and um, sometimes barely passed but passed or as a counselor watching kids get at the end of their senior year and they're graduating and how happy they are to be done and moving on to the next part of their life. One of my guiding principles is to help people to obtain their destiny. And so I feel like if I'm a part of that, then I am doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm fulfilling my destiny. And so that just always makes me positive. Like I come to school almost every day singing 
a song, you know, just inspiring myself. And I feel like if I'm inspired, then it's easy for me to help other people along the way. I have a memory, though, that's quite emotional for me because I had a mother call and say, Mr. Lynch, you, you saved our lives today. And I said, well, what do you mean? I, well, we walked into a new house that we bought, and my son said, Mom, I smell gas. And I said, what are, Henry, what are you talking about? And, and uh, Henry said, well, Mr. Lynch taught us what gas smells like down in the woodshop and how to, you know, that this is what it smells like, and we should be careful of it. And it was methane gas at the time, but it smelled a lot like natural gas. And so mom said, we have to get this taken care of. And they had somebody come in and they had found three leaks in their natural gas pipes. So very interesting story for me when I heard it from mom. She was quite emotional. All right, so um, probably the craziest happened my first year of teaching. Um, I was teaching U.S. history. I was going over um, unionizing and joining the union and stuff like this. And I must have done such a fantastic job because there was a moment there that I looked around the room and they had all taped little signs onto their pencils saying they were going on strike and were going to refuse to do any homework. Yeah, it was crazy because they just all were, went on strike and I just didn't know what to do. Probably being taped on the wall and then our car being completely 100% saran wrapped by Ms. Keller's homeroom. <laughs> I'll be used two words, anxiously excited. Puzzling. I've never, I've never had a fall to myself, ever. What's that going to be like around Labor Day this year? I don't know. Anxious to find out. Anxious. Stress. I'd have to say excitement. It'd have to be two words, mixed feelings. On the one hand, I love my job here, and I could go on and on. But on the other hand, I have grandchildren, and uh, if my husband and I are going to travel, and uh, so I think it's time that I make a change. Possibilities. Excited. Terrific. Wow. How about a river runs through it? Napoleon Dynamite. And the song is Forever Young. Carnaval by uh, Celia Cruz, which talks about that life is wild and crazy, and sometimes there's ups and sometimes there's downs. Bob Dylan, the times they are a changing. School's out for summer. Eternal summer. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. That's all I can think of school's out for summer. Free Bird by Leonard Skinner. Free as a bird now. Well, the movie unquestionably would be Blade Runner. But for a gesture, not to define me, but for my students and my colleagues. Well, I like everybody, um, you know, that saying that if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. That's how like my whole high school, my whole school career at MMSD has been. And like somebody told me, like, get along with your secretaries and your custodians. And I just want to thank them because I feel like they're the people that you last think of when you're talking about thanking somebody. But I want to thank everybody that I worked with. I have had the most excellent principals. I've had seven principals, love them all. Um, my coworkers, my support services um, community. It just has been a blessing and I'm very grateful for all of you and the kids. First of all, I would like to thank Frank Zerner who took a chance on me and hired me here at Memorial. 
for my first year in 1983. But who I would like to thank most of all would be my wife for unbelievable, consistent support for everything I've done. Um, she's my very best critic and my very, very best friend all the way through. Thanks, Diane. I'd like to thank all my colleagues for the mentoring and the support. And the students need to be thanked for making this the best job in the world. After 33 years in education, there's so many to um, thank, but certainly um, my family and my coworkers that I've learned so much from, and the students who I've also learned from. So I guess people. I'd like to thank people for helping me along the way. I would have to say I would want to thank um, all the people in the Student Services Department for having such great attitudes and being such wonderful people to work with. Um, it's made my 13 years here um, be the best years that I could ever imagine. You know, the people that I spent that time with here, it's just made things so much better. I'd like to thank my family, um, the library staff, and all the people here at Memorial that have made my time here um, so enjoyable. I'd like to thank all the Memorial staff. Also, the, the great students that I've had that have stuck with me for continuously for three or four years. I'd like to thank them. Um, and I'd also like to thank Bruce Dom, and he was a great leader for the school. Thank you people's heart because in this great career there's so many people you come in contact with and I don't want to forget people but you know the first things that come to mind are obviously my wife for uh, putting up with a guy who was busy a lot throughout this career and uh, she helped um, when I wasn't around for the boys. Obviously Pat and Danny. Um, so my wife Maggie, Pat and Danny, my boys, my mom and dad, Pat and Jerry Ritchie obviously. Um, and then some educators, um, Isabel O'Brien, who is my sixth grade teacher. Um, you know, she's kind of the one who made me start thinking even about wanting to be a teacher. Steve Barr, Gary Copine, um, and Bruce. I'd like to say thank you to everybody that's ever gone through these doors while I've been working here. You all are a part of the family, whether it's students, staff, you've just become part of us. And I know if Bruce was here, he'd also be thanking all of you. You each have become a small part of us. Thank you. There's a warm wind from the Southwest gently telling me that it's your time to go. Though this next chapter's exciting past Sometimes we've had a film The best I've known The best I've known Your lessons go far beyond any plans you could write It's how you invest everything in me That makes my life Full of love, love, love That's what it feels like when you're given Love, love, love Makes the hard times more like heaven on earth Makes you feel like you're worth Something special in this world When you teach me all the things you love, love, love You teach me about love, love, love 